Hello everyone and welcome to a weekly message from Jesus. I'm Barry Strom and I'm going to be channeling his words today. So Father, if you are ready, I'm ready as well. Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about fear. Fear is a terrible thing and I know that many of you are living in fear of many things. There are many of you that fear what will happen to you when you die. There's, there are many that fear how they are going to take care of their families. There are many that fear the evil that is in the world today. I can assure you that there is truly much that you should fear, but dying is not one of them. When you die, you will come home to the realms of my heaven, and all will be well. You will see family members, you will see deceased people that you never knew, you'll be able to do many, many things. So take, take death off your fear list. Now there are things that you should fear. There is much evil in the world today. All of you need to take action to stop the evil that is overrunning your country. It is not just your country, but it is many countries in the world today. There are many that would impose socialism or communism on the people. That would be a disaster. Socialism and communism have killed millions and millions of people through the years. You need to learn your history. Look at what has happened. Think about the poor people in Cuba. They've been living under communism for over 50 years and they are in terrible condition. If you do not act in the present, the future will truly have a lot for you to fear. Your fate is in your hands. You can elect people that trust in me, that follow my teachings, and that believe my words. Or you can elect those that would take over your country and would basically take away your rights of speech your rights to protect yourself, and basically would, you would have to live totally under their control. Do not sit back and delay your action. I can assure you that what is taking place will have a very terrible effect upon you. I gave people free will for a reason. Free will is a test. If you fail that test, then your country will fail as well. And that goes for any other country on this planet. There are certain things that I will not step in to stop. And free will is one of them. It is up to the people to elect the government that they deserve. If you elect people that are in favor of communism, socialism, or some other type of government structure, then that is what you deserve. What you need to do is understand that you should fear that type of a government. There is fear that is reasonable and there is fear that is unreasonable. Your fear of death is unreasonable. I have assured you all it will take place when your soul passes from your body. So that is not something you should fear. Actually, there are many people who look forward to coming home. When you come home, all pain, all the, the, the problems associated with your body will go away. So it is indeed a beautiful thing and should not be feared. What you should fear are people that are trying to take away your ability to earn a living, your ability to live as you wish to live, and your ability to make the proper decisions. There are many people in government that want to make their decisions for you. That is not a good thing. When I founded your country, I delivered the principle of government for the people and by the people. It is not a government that was intended for the government to be 
very strong and to control the will and actions of the people. You need to look around you and understand what is taking place. There are many things happening in the news that you should be aware of, but that your agencies are not bringing to you. You need to be aware of what is taking place. You are not an ostrich that puts your head in the sand. You must be alert and you must understand that the evil in this world is stronger than at any other time. The possession of weapons of mass destruction and individuals with untold wealth have brought things into existence that have never occurred before. These are unique experiences. Humans have never undergone situations as they are looking at today. You have to be flexible. You have to fear what is taking place in your governments. I know this is going to upset a lot of people. There are many out there that believe that government should control all of your lives. Well, that is simply not a case that will work in the long run. It is only the initiative and understanding of individuals working together, following by teachings, and doing the will of the people that will allow your country to succeed in the long run. So fear can be good and fear can be bad. If you fear death, it is bad. If you fear what is taking place in your world today, then that fear is very reasonable. What you must do is act. Do not think that an individual cannot have an effect on others. Educate others. Work through your school systems. Make sure that they teach history and not destroy history. The mistakes of the past are the foundation that you should use to make decisions in the future. If that historical foundation is destroyed and individuals are not aware of it, they obviously cannot build on that foundation. The evil people have been very clever in how they have manipulated your school system and are now manipulating your government. You must stand together. You have the right to vote. Use that right wisely. If you do not, I can assure you things will not go well for your country or for any other country in the world. Today, I want you to realize all aspects of fear. Fear can be good, fear can be bad. And I assure you that there are things happening in your world today that you should fear. If that fear is strong enough, then you will take action. I'm here to tell you that you need to take that action. Once the evil people in your government can pass certain laws or regulations, in most instances, they will become permanent. All of you need to be aware of what is happening. That is all I'm trying to tell you. I give you messages every week. I tell you what you can do to live a wonderful life and to have a wonderful time when you return into my heaven. If you do not follow my words, then things will not go well for you. As you can see, many people have been trying to destroy religion in the world today. Organized religions are very good. They do much good for people. They also do not know all of my teachings. They have been misled through the years by the writings in the Gospels, and they follow those writings. I cannot blame them for that. It is not until now that I am bringing you contemporary messages so that you have very clear understanding of what my will is and what I want for the people. So today I want you to know that Fear can be good and fear can be bad. Do not fear death. 
I've talked about this many, many times, and you should have paid attention to what I say because it is true. Fear what is taking place around you. Use your common sense, and if what is taking place does not follow my teachings, do something about it. Do not just sit back. Inaction will lead to defeat, and evil will win. I can only do so much for you. I have seen many cultures fail because of the free will that I gave them. If they don't follow my words, they deserve to fail. It's that simple. That might sound harsh, but that is the way of things. So I'm going to leave you. Once again, I bless all of you that are listening. Pay attention to what is taking place around you. Act to protect your family, your way of life, and especially the right to worship as you please. So goodbye. I will have another message for you next week. Thank you, Father. Every week is a very important time. I know. I look forward to Wednesdays. If you would like to read his written, his, the true story of his life, my book, Spirit Speak, Channeling the Life of Jesus, and my book, Spirit Speak, Channeling Jesus and the Holy Spirit, is available. It is on Kindle, Amazon, anywhere books are sold. So anyway, I'm going to leave you as well. I would suggest that you follow his words. This is not a time for inaction. So goodbye, and I will have another message for you next week.